You're listening to the Drummer Daily Podcast, the only daily podcast dedicated just to drummers. Go to my website at danielhadaway.com. Hey, hey there. Good to talk to you again today. Uh, As I mentioned yesterday, we are now going to be in part two of three of my mini-series, my three-part opus, my trilogy of epic awesomeness on having more fun playing, or not having more fun playing drums, having more fun practicing the drums. Uh, Because it's always fun to play the drums, I think, but practice is what's not always so fun. Uh, So today, I want to talk to you about, well, I have kind of a confession to make, and then also uh, a a tip that kind of comes out of that. So my confession is this. I've been playing drums for, how long has it been now? 27 years, 27 years. That's a long time. Um, But you do the math on that, you might figure out how old I am. Not that it really matters. I'm not scared of that. But anyway, uh, I've been playing drums for 27 years. That's a long time. Uh, And from day one of playing the drums until this very moment now, I'm talking to you. I think realistically, I have maybe only played drums or practiced drums um, with just me and the drums uh, probably 10 or less times in my entire life. Um, And I would guess that most of those times were either during a lesson that I was taking or... Um, let's see, I, I was prepping for an audition, um, for, uh, when I played for this Christian artist, uh, Rebecca St. James years and years ago. And when I was preparing to audition for her, uh, for her band, I practiced a couple of times, uh, the songs that I needed to play. Uh, I practiced those from memory to make sure that I had them completely learned without any reference for music. Uh, so all the rest of the time I pract- I have practiced, playing along with music. And I mean, when I was five years old, there was a boom box blaring music and I was playing drums with it. Uh, all throughout being a teenager, there were headphones on my head um, and I never didn't play, um, never didn't play with music. That's what we to say that. I always played with music. Uh, so what that means for me, here's the, here's the thing about, about it, is that I think of myself as maybe a music fan first and foremost, and then I also happen to play the drums. I really love a good song. I really love all the instrumentation that goes into a great song or a great performance or a great band or if you're church, you know, a great worship service. I really enjoy every aspect of music. And so I find a lot of enjoyment in listening to music and seeing it be be played live. Um, So much so that I, even when I'm playing, that's, and that's maybe why I enjoy playing such simple beats so many, so much is because I, I am able to be a part of something that I, that I am perceiving to be bigger. I'm actually, even though I'm playing the drums and the music, I'm actually enjoying the fact that the overall band is sounding great. Uh, and I'm, and I get to be a part of it, but I, I enjoy listening to live music so much. Um, uh, and I enjoy listening to music so much. So I'm just a, I'm a fan of music, and so it's really easy, I think, for me to to play along with with other music um, when I'm practicing because I enjoy listening to it in the first place. Uh, there's I, I knew some drummers, and I, I still know a few who who don't actually like music that much, and I don't understand that. But like they'll the only kind of music they like to listen to is one where like the drums are really prominent and loud and show offy. Um, and I, I just don't understand that. I'm not saying that's wrong or you shouldn't, you shouldn't like that kind of music. But I just, for me, I enjoy all kinds of music so much that I can't imagine being a drummer and contributing in a meaningful way to something. Um, like my thing is this, like if, if these drummers who love stuff that only features the drums prominently, I, I don't know how when they get in a situation where the drums aren't being featured prominently and they have to kind of lay back and just kind of, you know, hold down the beat in the, you know, in the background, I don't know how they actually enjoy doing that because it doesn't seem like they enjoy the music that they're creating. For me, I enjoy so many different kinds of music that, that 
playing that simple music is so much fun to me or playing any kind of music is fun to me. So I actually enjoy the overall product that's coming out of everyone playing together. Um, all that to say, if you're looking for a way to have more fun playing music or playing drums, play along with music. I, I, I know that, like I, I mentioned yesterday, like the the technology or the equipment you might need, you may not have everything to make it perfect, but try as hard as you can to, to, to do it. I, uh, and if you don't normally do this, give it a shot. I think that's maybe why too, like I, I have been able to overall do a little better at playing with a click track because I don't have to, uh, a lot of the music that I've played along with growing up, I'm sure it was recorded with a click track. And so now that I naturally have maybe have a little bit better sense of time. But the crazy thing is like until I played, uh, I don't think I ever had played to a click track until I played uh, for when I got the Rebecca St. James gig, I don't think I consistently played with a click track ever before. I done stuff at church here and there where they said, oh, hey, you know, you know, we got backing tracks on this song or a drum loop, and it was a pain for me to play. Um, so maybe that didn't affect my playing with a click track too much growing up playing with, uh, with songs. But anyway, my tip today is play along with some music if you can uh, and enjoy enjoy hearing what's coming out from the music and not just what you're doing. Um, Because I think you can find so much joy in small, quiet parts and in simplicity when you start to really uh, pay attention to how what you're doing is fitting in with everybody else instead of just focusing on being right or playing it correctly. So uh, go out there, have some fun, and I'll be back tomorrow with part three of this magnificent series. I hope you are doing well today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.